What up YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another daily review and this one is to that daylight black queen and this is a dedication to the late Afeni Shakur who just recently passed away and I definitely enjoyed it because if anybody deserved them a dedication track, it's Afeni Shakur. Now a few things about this track definitely did kind of get to me like how the first verse was really centered around the fact that she gave birth to Tupac. Like they're thankful that she did that. And well, she was much more than Tupac's mother and such man, but I'm happy that she raised him to become the legend that he was in hip hop. I mean let's go back into history man. Go back to 1971, where Afeni Shakur and 18 other Black Panthers were rounded up and arrested, much like they did the, the 100 people in the Bronx and such, man. They were rounded up and arrested over conspiracy to bomb police stations and such, and they were trying to throw the book out on like 300 years in total. At the time, she was pregnant with Tupac, and she was also working in lawyer offices. Like, she wasn't a lawyer, she was the people that the lawyer used to do all of the work but not get the lawyer money. But she represented herself, and the whole trial got pretty much acquitted off of what she was doing. Afeni was a about that work man and I'm happy that in the second verse of this they definitely did touch on the Black Panther aspect of her life. Now the other thing that I really didn't like about this track is the production was way too dry for its own good. Like I understand that you're trying to set the tone for this track but you can set that same tone with higher quality production man. Now in the hope they of course had to sample that Dear Mama from Tupac man but they didn't sample it quite right. You dig? Like, all of these things kind of take away from the track, but I still enjoyed it when I recommend people to go ahead and peep on out. But this concludes today's review, man, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Lily J before we jump into some of your questions. dropping an album this year and allegedly yes he's supposed to he's been hyping it all of this man but ultimately I don't believe anything not only Nipsey Hussle would say but all of these other rappers like until the album drops that's the only date that I care about because albums always get pushed back over unforeseeable things and way too often people have lied saying that they're going to drop an album in which it's not even close to coming out. Now Isaiah asks, would I change my opinion of that Royster 59 album production now that I know that Mr. Porter produced it and he has been doing work with a lot of people? And real talk, nah, I know Mr. Porter has done a lot of really good work in the past and everything, but everybody hits and misses sometimes, man. Not everything a particular producer does is great. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.